This is the brand new DJI Action 5 Pro. And this is also the brand new GoPro Hero 13 Black. Both of these are the new kids on the block. And when you're looking at the highest end of action cameras, what DJI has to offer and what GoPro has to offer is kind of the peak. So let's just jump into a comparison. Action 5 here and GoPro 13 here. And you can see me, I'm in a backlit situation with the sun in frame. You can check the dynamic range, what it looks like. Not only am I uh, doing video testing, but this is also the microphone. So here is the Action 5 Pro. And now here is the GoPro Hero 13. I'll be switching between them. You'll see it on screen there. So you can you know see how they sound. When looking at these images on screen, I mean, you be the judge here, but to my eye, it is clear that the Action 5 Pro has significantly better dynamic range and just overall better image quality, especially if we look at these lower light situations, which is an area that these action cameras typically struggle in. The Action 5 Pro is actually holding its own and it looks pretty usable, whereas the GoPro, it, it just plain struggles. At first glance, it would seem the hardware on both of these cameras has not changed changed much at all in the last few years. The biggest difference when looking at the hardware on both of these is the screen and screen quality. The Action 5 Pro now features dual OLED displays that are both touchscreen, both on the front and back. And another thing DJI built in is support for DJI Mic 2. So now that can be a receiver for two different transmitters. And this, this is great. Now where DJI decided to build in some of those features, uh, GoPro this year instead seemed to focus on the accessories that they're bringing over. So now there's a bunch of different lens mods that you can add that change how the camera film. And there's also a new mount option that I'm so happy GoPro finally has. And they actually are now the king of mounts. Now on the bottom here, they have the prongs, which you are used to that are just folded away. There's a quarter 20 thread as well. We've had that since last year, but now it also works with a magnetic mount, which is what DJI came out with a few years ago. Now it has all the options and DJI also has 47 gigabytes of usable internal storage. So with all of that in mind, the 13 black is 399, whereas the Action 5 Pro is 349. So you're saving about $50 between them. And well, that seems like a pretty good deal. But either way, whichever one you choose, I think you're not necessarily going to have a bad time. They both deliver pretty well. So if you want to pick one of these up, I'll leave links to both options down below. Uh, but let me know which one you think did best uh, because they're getting pretty close.